November 2025 in the UK feels like two seasons at once, mild autumn in the south, winter's chill in the north, warm, moist air from the south is clashing with cold arctic air from the north, creating a dramatic weather divide, the first half of the month was record-breakingly warm, but now, polar air is pushing south, setting up a rapid shift. Scotland and northern England wake to frost, while the south still enjoys double-digit temperatures, a 10-degree difference over a short distance. This sharp contrast is fueling volatile weather from flooding rain to an imminent freeze. We're on the brink of a classic British weather flip, prepare for a swift, nationwide transformation. Wales and southwest England have been drenched by relentless rain, with the skies opening up day after day, leaving communities struggling to cope. The sound of rain on rooftops has become a constant backdrop, and the once green fields are now sodden and waterlogged. For many, this has become more than just an inconvenience. It's a daily challenge, as roads flood, travel is disrupted, and homes are threatened by rising water. Rivers across the region are swelling beyond their banks, and flood alerts have become a regular part of life. Emergency services are on high alert, and local residents are bracing for more disruption as the water continues to rise. The scale of the flooding is visible from the air, with entire fields submerged and communities cut off by impassable roads. This deluge is being driven by a conveyor belt of warm, moisture-laden air streaming up from near Spain. This atmospheric river is dumping staggering amounts of rain, some areas have seen a month's worth in just a few days, overwhelming drainage systems and saturating the ground to the point where it simply can't absorb any more water. Persistent easterly winds are compounding the problem, forcing this moisture-rich air up over the hills and mountains of Wales and southwest England. As the air rises, it cools and condenses, intensifying the downpours and triggering flash floods in valleys and low-lying areas. The landscape, already saturated, has little capacity to absorb the relentless rainfall, so water rushes downhill, swelling rivers and streams even further. The root of this persistent wet spell lies in the larger weather patterns at play. A stubborn high-pressure system over Europe is blocking the usual west-to-east movement of weather, while a deep low-pressure system to the west of the UK is acting like a pump, channeling moisture-laden air directly at us. This setup creates a corridor for rain to travel, with little chance for the skies to clear. Now, a new low-pressure system has stalled over central England and Wales, locking the rain in place for even longer. This means that the same areas are being hit repeatedly, with flood warnings multiplying and rivers continuing to swell. For many, the threat of flooding is no longer a distant possibility. It's an immediate reality, with roads submerged and cars stranded. Adding to the complexity, a sharp divide between cold and mild air masses is fueling even more rainfall. Where these two air masses meet, the temperature contrast acts like a trigger, squeezing out even more moisture and turning the boundary into a powerful rainmaker. This clash of air is not only driving heavy rain, but also making forecasting difficult, as conditions can change rapidly. The effects of this extraordinary weather pattern will linger for days, if not weeks. Fields remain waterlogged, roads are slow to clear, and the threat of further flooding hangs over communities. For those living in the path of these storms, this is no ordinary wet spell. It's a test of resilience, as the rain keeps falling and the landscape struggles to recover. While the south battles floods, the north braces for a different threat, a surge of Arctic air. High pressure near Iceland is opening the gates for this frigid air to sweep south, replacing the mild damp conditions. The cold front will undercut the warmth, bringing a sudden, dramatic temperature drop, like flipping a switch. A classic northerly airflow, powered by high pressure to the west and low pressure over Scandinavia, will deliver raw, unmodified Arctic air. This marks a total transformation crisp, dry and unmistakably wintry. The Arctic air is gathering strength and will soon sweep across the country, ending the mild spell. The true start of winter is imminent. The shift from mild wet weather to a nationwide freeze will unfold rapidly over the next week. Today the temperature contrast peaks, southern England basks in warmth while the north shivers. Tomorrow the cold front pushes south, dropping temperatures sharply as it advances. By Friday night, much of the country will feel the chill. Scotland may be below freezing, while the far south clings to mildness. By Saturday, cold air dominates everywhere. 
London's highs drop to single digits, and frosts become likely. Next week, the cold deepens, with a persistent northerly airflow keeping temperatures below average. Snow becomes possible over higher ground from Tuesday onwards. In just days, Britain flips from flood to freeze. The temperature plunge will be most dramatic in southern and southeastern England, where highs are set to drop by over 10 degrees in just two days. A truly remarkable shift for this time of year. Residents who have grown accustomed to the lingering mildness of autumn will be in for a shock as the mercury tumbles rapidly, catching many off guard. The contrast will be especially stark in areas that have enjoyed gentle breezes and above average temperatures, making the sudden arrival of winter all the more jarring. London's air mass will swing from subtropical warmth to polar chill, with daytime warmth replaced by a raw, wintry cold. The city's iconic skyline, usually bustling with activity, will see people huddled in heavy coats, scarves, pulled tight, and breath visible in the frigid air. The Thames may appear even more somber under the heavy grey skies, and the city's parks and streets will take on a distinctly wintry feel. For many Londoners, this will be the first true taste of winter after weeks of relatively mild weather. In the north, the cold intensifies. Cities like Inverness and Newcastle may not see highs above 3 degrees. The chill will be persistent, with biting winds making it feel even colder than the thermometer suggests. Frost will linger on rooftops and pavements well into the day, and the landscape will be transformed by a silvery sheen. For those living in these northern cities the cold snap will be a reminder of the harshness that winter can bring, and preparations for icy conditions will become a daily routine. Overnight, hard frosts and icy patches will become common especially under clear skies. As temperatures plummet after sunset, the risk of slippery roads and frozen windshields will increase dramatically. Early risers will wake to find their cars coated in a thick layer of ice, and the crunch of frosty grass underfoot will become a familiar sound. These cold, clear nights will also bring stunning views of star-filled skies, but the beauty will come with a warning. Take care on untreated surfaces and be prepared for longer morning routines. The Midlands and Wales will feel the transition acutely on Friday, with a mild morning giving way to a cold afternoon. As the cold front sweeps through, clouds will part to reveal a much chillier landscape, and the temperature will drop sharply within hours. Morning mist may give way to afternoon frost, and the countryside will quickly lose its autumnal hues, replaced by the stark whites and grays of winter. For many, this rapid change will be a clear signal that the seasons have turned. By Saturday, all regions will be firmly in winter's grip, with highs struggling past 5 or 6 degrees. The entire country will be united by a shared experience of cold, as blue and purple hues dominate weather maps and people everywhere bundle up against the chill. Even those in typically milder coastal areas will feel the bite and the need for warm layers and hot drinks will be universal. The sudden drop will test heating systems and wardrobes alike as everyone adapts to the new reality. The suddenness of this drop is a stark reminder. Winter is arriving with force. The landscape will change almost overnight with bare trees, frosted fields, and a sense of urgency in the air as people rush to prepare for the cold. The speed of the transition will catch many by surprise, and the dramatic shift serves as a powerful signal that the mild days of autumn are truly behind us. The entire country will feel the impact, but the shock will be greatest where autumn lingered longest. From the southern coast to the northern highlands, communities will experience the full force of winter's arrival. For some, it will be a welcome change, bringing the promise of festive cheer and cozy nights indoors. For others, it will be a challenge, demanding quick adaptation and extra care. No matter where you are, the message is clear. The cold is here, and it's here to stay. In southern England, today still feels like early autumn, with temperatures lingering comfortably in the mid to high teens. The air is gentle, and the sunlight, though softer now, still carries a hint of warmth. People stroll through parks and along city streets, savoring the last moments of mild weather. The golden leaves underfoot and the light jackets worn by passers-by are subtle reminders that the season is on the cusp of change. There's a sense of calm, almost as if the region is holding its breath, reluctant to let go of these pleasant days. But this gentle warmth is only temporary, a final embrace before the inevitable shift. Overhead, dark rain clouds gather, hinting at the changes to come. This is the last gasp of mild air, squeezed by advancing cold from the north 
and rain from the west. The horizon is a battleground, with sunlight and shadow trading places as the weather prepares to turn. The warmth is shrinking fast. By Friday the cold front will sweep south, and the change will be unmistakable. Weather maps show a dramatic shift, with a wave of cold air pushing relentlessly downward. Temperatures will tumble, and the mildness that lingered in the south, will be swept away, in a matter of hours. The transition will be abrupt, leaving little time to adjust. Friday morning may begin with a humid, almost deceptive softness in the air, but as the day unfolds, a crisp, chilly afternoon will take its place. Winds will turn northerly, bringing a biting edge that cuts through the last remnants of warmth. People will reach for scarves and heavier coats, and the once gentle breeze will become a brisk wind, scattering leaves, and signaling the arrival of colder days. By Saturday, even the usually temperate south coast will lose its mild edge. Highs will struggle to reach double digits, and the chill will be felt everywhere. From bustling city centers to quiet seaside promenades, the air will be sharp, and the sight of bundled up pedestrians and visible breath will become the new normal. The transformation will be complete, and the comfort of autumn warmth will be just a memory. The brief southern haven of warmth will vanish, replaced by a universal chill that settles over towns and countryside alike. Mornings will dawn with frost glistening on rooftops and lawns and the thermometer will confirm what everyone feels, the true arrival of winter. The contrast to the week's earlier mildness will be stark and unmistakable. The weather divide that once separated north from south will end, uniting the nation under winter's blanket. From rural villages to sprawling cities, a shared experience of cold will settle in. Gray clouds will stretch across the sky, and the landscape will take on the muted tones of the season, signaling that autumn's farewell is final. The transition will be swift and felt by all. In just a few days, the gentle warmth of early autumn will be replaced by the unmistakable chill of winter. People everywhere will adjust, layering up and bracing themselves for the months ahead. The fleeting farewell to warmth is complete, and a new season has truly begun. With Arctic air settling in, the big question is, will it snow? For some, the answer is yes. From early next week, the atmosphere will be cold enough for snow, especially over northern hills and mountains. A weather system midweek could bring significant snow to the highlands, Pennines and Cumbrian fells. The 528 thickness line will sweep south, signaling true wintry conditions. While the heaviest snow stays in the north, even hills in Wales or the Peak District could see a dusting. The south may see a few flakes mixed with rain, but nothing major. It's not a blizzard, but the first real taste of winter, white hills confirming the season's arrival. This dramatic flip from warmth to freeze echoes last November, when record mildness gave way to sudden cold and snow, the UK's autumn to winter transition is rarely smooth. It's often marked by these abrupt shifts. Once again, a high in the North Atlantic is letting Arctic air flood south a classic setup for a cold spell. The pattern's repeat suggests larger climate drivers at work, but also highlights the UK's weather volatility. Last year's sudden cold was a wake-up call. This year's event is a similar reminder to prepare for winter. The seasons have changed decisively. Expect the unexpected. In Britain, a flip from flood to freeze is not rare, but a recurring feature of autumn. This week proves the only constant in British weather is change. We've gone from record warmth and floods to a biting freeze and the first snows, all in days. Our island's position means we're always at the mercy of competing air masses. The speed and scale of these shifts demand respect and readiness. Forecasts are vital tools, not just curiosities. Living in the UK means constant adaptation, always watching the skies. The story of British weather is one of endless change. Prepare for anything.